Hi YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. Today I'm going to talk about Chinese diesel heaters and the fuel tanks. Now, I've got the diesel heater fitted in my Tobler Express. It's been about eight months. It's been pretty troublesome free, apart from a couple of things related to the fuel tank. I'll just put the one I'm using down there. The original fuel tank was too big for a motorhome, so I opted for a small fuel tank. I think this is 5 litre or 10 litre. Yeah, the big one's 10 litre, apologies. This one, and I opted for this one, which is a 5 litre, I believe. And the reason for this, I wanted a separate fuel tank inside the van because my wife doesn't like Jane doesn't like the smell of diesel so we run it on paraffin. Now on our last journey in Wales we had a problem and the problem was this part here inside the cap, now we can see it, is the breather for the tank and it fits in there inside the cap. Now when it's screwed tight the caps on with this rubber seal which is one of those what we found was after a period of time it all separated it's a click fit together and this bit separated and just fell inside the tank but rather than remove the tank in the van I bought a pickup toil with a you know grab like that so I was able to retrieve this from inside the tank so I came up with the idea of putting the centre bolt through the cap to hold this in place so it didn't go inside the tank or fall inside the tank. That worked well until I decided to top the tank up with paraffin. And what it does, because it's got a rough lip on the inside here this had gone all the way through this bit and was gripping on the inside I couldn't get the cap off without forcing it off and of course it's twisted this the simple reason is this bit catches because it's a larger diameter this bit rather than stopping the cap it clicks under this lip this stupid lip here So I thought, I know, I'll take the cap off of this and fit on this. Oops, knocking things down. When I took it apart, it's a completely different setup. It just relies on a big rubber washer with a pinhole in it. But what it does, this rubber washer here, it only lets the air into the tank it doesn't let the air out because of the shape. If it tries to suck air in, it pulls the rubber down, opens this little hole vent to there. Can you see it? Little vent. I thought, great, yeah, I'll fit that. It's a different thread. So this cap won't fit there, and this cap. Vice versa, will not fit this tank. It's on there fine. And my shed diesel heater has got a different size cap again. So, oh, so somehow, have I got to reuse this or make a washer that fits in here that doesn't block the vent hole but still allows air to? to be sucked in but not out. Um, if it weren't for these stupid plastic lugs here I could just make a, rubber, a large rubber washer and fit. Right so that's the problem number one I've got to resolve. Problem number two is the pickup point. The seal I used on here which was petrol proof apparently 
doesn't like paraffin petrol and diesel proof and oil proof it doesn't like paraffin and it dissolved so this became loose so I've got another air gap here which the smell of paraffin can come out so I've got to resolve that issue and I'm at the moment I don't know how to do it so as a recap to do with the uh, fuel tank for the diesel heater one of these five litre ones and uh, to do with the breather vent which was this thing which fell inside the tank I had to fish it out and then I couldn't when I put a bolt through the middle to hold it secure from falling in it caught under the lip here and jammed so I've come up with this idea and uh, what I've done I've made I've used the original bolt which I had and what I've got is a silicon washer, a couple of fibre washers and a spring and I've made a vent that only opens one way when, so when it's sucking fuel to stop the tank from collapsing this vent will open hopefully and uh, I've looked at the other filler caps on the large 10 litre tank and also on my shed diesel heater tank and they all open one way and that's to suck air into the tank not to let the fumes out so I'll put the camera on the tripod and I'll show you this in action now I'm not sure whether you'll see this but two nuts washer small very very um, light action spring a couple of fiber washers and a silicon washer I've made and I'm using the original bolt that I put in earlier to try and solve the problem which didn't and using a very small drill through the breather hole which is the original breather hole here if I push it I don't know whether you can see you can see the action hopefully you'll see it lifting up and down and hopefully that will solve the problem very s simple silly problem I've had with this and um, if this don't work I'll basically buy a new tank because you can't buy the cap separate so hopefully it'll work and in terms of the, this rotting seal there what I've done I've put some gasket cement down the, the um, take off pipe and I've put some JB weld around it because I say the other stuff seemed to dissolve in paraffin so thanks for watching hope this comes out okay this video and it makes sense please subscribe and like take care comments welcome whether positive or negative